company is uh, Acme. You obviously heard a lot about Acme tonight. And uh, we're going to start with the current strategy of the company. Right now, it has a decentralized business model, essentially a decentralized purchasing model. It's highly focused on fulfilling customer needs. And its supply chain is supposedly focused on uh, providing just-in-time service to customers. Uh, its current problems flowing from the way it approaches its purchasing is that it's carrying a high level of inventory. Uh, it's doing that because, because of its supposed uh, focus on customer needs. It ends up carrying too many different SKUs and the volume that it's carrying is also a lot because it wants to meet all customer needs all the time. There is competition between all its branches. It doesn't have any centralized uh, purchasing of any sort. And it currently does not have any bargaining power whatsoever with its raw material suppliers that would be the mills. And this is because it's breaking all its purchases between six different uh, branches, and each branch is going to market against the mills on their own. Uh, its current line of credit is maximized as a result of the large amount of uh, inventory it's carrying. Our first recommendation is for Acme to centralize its business model. And essentially, uh, what, we, what we mean by centralizing the business model is to actually centralize purchasing. So all of the branches will come together and you know, uh, put together their forecast for the year or for the month or for whatever horizon that they decide and go to market and negotiate with the mills together. Uh, part of this uh, centralizing the business model it includes going after achieving more buying power, more bargaining power uh, uh, as, uh, against the mills. And then we're also proposing implementing an ABC inventory management uh, uh, system. Essentially what that is, is identifying the high value components that they sell and their high value customers and actually moving towards providing those particular customers value added uh, sales. Uh, we're also uh, proposing that they collaborate with, uh, between branches to optimize inventory. That's a natural outgrowth from their normal uh, consolidation. And also to serve customers from other regions. So essentially, every branch does not serve a customer based on its geographic uh, nearness to the customer. A branch serves a customer based on a combination of geography, availability and the skills that that particular branch has. So that would come about as a result of sharing information within branches. We've done the calculations. We don't have time to show the calculations, but we estimate a potential savings of between nine to $14 million just from the consolidation and collaboration. Our second recommendation is, uh, has to do with their inventory turnover times. Right now, uh, Acme has extremely wide inventory turnover times. It, it's turning over uh, flat items, I think, 2.35 times, and uh, <coughs> extrusion twice a year. So meanwhile, the customer lead times, which are very, very lax for this industry, would actually allow it to turn over inventory a lot faster just to meet customer lead times. Now, if it did uh, work on its inventory turnover times, to meet customer lead times, uh, they would be able to place orders based specifically on their customer lead times, which is what uh, is obtainable right now. They don't have to do anything extra, but just meet customer lead times. That would give them a potential savings of 8.35 million. Again, the calculations, unfortunately, uh, we cannot exactly show them in this uh, uh, presentation. And then we are, we're also proposing that it reduces its heavily reserved inventory and uh, essentially, we're proposing a 25% reduction in its heavily reserved inventory, not 100% reduction. Uh, we're targeting the slower moving parts of this heavily reserved uh, inventory, and we're going to probably offer it back to either the airlines uh, or the defense or the mills, basically just throw it open for anybody to purchase. And that should bring a potential savings of 4.5 million. We're potentially looking at a savings of $26.85 million at this point. <coughs> and uh, uh, before we go back to the, the potential savings, where our implementation plan involves 
doing the inventory turnaround times, this is something that they can uh, implement right now and actually begin to monitor within the first quarter. And the other two strategies, reduction and heavily reduction, <coughs> the business model, we can start implementing now, but monitor over uh, throughout the year with two milestones at, at the end of quarter two and at the end of the year. And our contingency plan is to consolidate inventory by merging the small regional branches with the large branches and at the same time merging their carried inventory. Or if that doesn't fail, basically a slash and burn strategy, reduce inventory across the board by 10 to 15 percent. A future strategy of the company would be to pursue both a, a decentralized and a centralized purchasing model. Uh, to increase flexibility, collaboration with suppliers and customers uh, throughout the chain, and rationalize the number of products it's offering. And we see uh, Acme moving from a high complexity, low business impact uh, supply chain to a low complexity, high business impact supply chain. Thank you.